we ready? Playing beautiful melodies. melodies. Telling terrible stories. Creating a whole new radio experience for you. Where all worlds fail, the music speaks. Yes, you heard it very right, and welcome to Wilkins Daddy Podcast Network. Now, you know what? We have a super, super, super. How many supers are those? Those are three supers, for God's sake. So, we have a super incredible series that is coming up on Wilkins Daddy Podcast starting this month. So, stay tuned for that because you're gonna love it. Welcome. Wagwan. Wagwan. What's that? Uh-huh. Know what the is gonna be. Wagwan. Anyway, going? ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Will King's Daddy Podcast. And so today I'm hanging out with Makeda. She's a DJ. Um, is it right to say you're an influencer? I think you are. Huh? Yeah. Well, I think she's an influencer, and she's one of the judges that um, East Africa Got Talent. Um, one of those judges who it's so hard to say no. <laughs> What, what what is on the streets that it's so hard to say no for you? Listen, it's not that it's hard for me to say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? I'm uh-huh. just able to identify uh-huh, uh-huh. certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Certain talents. Uh-huh. And you know, I feel like everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, that's that was so sweet of you. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So there's this lady who uh, she was given to what are they called? To um, red axes. Yeah, red axes. That was a bit controversial, three. but I felt she yeah, three. three. Then, then you came and gave her um, what is it called? Um, a golden bazaar. Mm-hmm. For me on my side, I f- I felt like sometimes in life we need people like Makeda, who, as much as the world says no, mm-hmm. there's always that one person who can believe in you no matter what, I agree with and can you. give you a second chance. I agree. So we should be watching out for her tomorrow, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Like, pressure. I'm so nervous. Uh-huh. Like, girl, no pressure. But yeah, please, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Have you have you got any contact with her? Just tell her, you know what, you really should work on this. We she's from Rwanda, right? She's from Rwanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen her since the show. Uh huh, uh huh. I mean, haven't had any contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember when that happened. I told yeah, yeah, her, yeah. I was like, yeah. Girl, next time you come uh-huh, uh-huh. with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really hoping that she heeded that advice, but I yeah. know that they all have been working on what yeah, yeah. you know on their mm-hmm. their craft. The craft, yeah. Since then, and trying yeah. to elevate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really hoping that mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. she's she's gonna bring it. I think I think for me, even if she doesn't um, make it to the final, if if me uh, if I was you, I would actually uh, get take the opportunity to mentor because I know that that decision that you made in terms of giving her that opportunity like a, a true pass to the f- to the semi-finals is one thing that she would never ever ever forget yeah i mean the, i guess the only thing would be that i wouldn't be able to like help yeah, yeah. her coach her voice yeah because, yeah yeah you know i'm not a singer but yeah, yeah. I, if, if there was anything that she would need or yeah, yeah. you know uh-huh. so to do that because you know it's hard yeah i, I like to to give guesses where I think it's deserved just because uh-huh. I've been given chances yeah, in yeah, life yeah, yeah, yeah. and I haven't been uh-huh, perfect uh-huh, I've uh-huh. had the chance to yeah, yeah. work on whatever it was that I've been wanting to do yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've never been perfect uh-huh, uh-huh. at what I was doing so yeah. I feel like it's my opportunity now to, to yeah. give a yes yeah, yeah. wherever I can and by the way I'm not mm-hmm. the only one giving yeses okay I'm not the only one that can send these people through no, I was just okay. saying I was just saying come on chill everyone chill. everyone's been giving me mm-hmm. didn't you need take your, your shot about this <laughs> <laughs> oh you give so many yeses I'm like I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. send anyone through but uh-huh, myself uh-huh. everyone is giving those yeses yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I get the reputation yeah yeah, yeah yeah so what is what is no still still on the same on the same on the same story yeah, yeah. in the same narrative at what point in your life do you feel like someone gave you that opportunity? Like you just felt like actually, these these are defining opportunity. It's a defining yeah. opportunity in your career, either as a as a as a journalist, as a DJ. Uh huh. Listen, I feel like every step of the way, I was yeah, yeah. given chances to pursue uh-huh. what I wanted to pursue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not. Uh, I didn't go to school uh-huh, or uh-huh, uh-huh. media. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have training. You didn't study media. DJing. No. Uh huh. I studied literature. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I think that every opportunity that I've gotten, yeah. it was someone saw something, yeah. gave me a chance, and I had the opportunity to prove that I could do yeah, yeah. something with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I never displayed any perfect skills yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. in getting those opportunities. And I think that you know, it's very important that, that we see that mm -hmm. there's potential there and yeah. have a chance. Yeah, that's amazing. So, um, <laughs> I won't look at your question. <laughs> you see what I did there? I, I was like, I, I, Ooh, I, I, hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so I wanted to ask you a question. How? What is your story in terms of getting into DJ? Did you did you get into school in in terms of uh, being a DJ? No, I didn't go to school for DJing. Either. Uh -huh. um, so you are a DJ. You are a TV presenter. Um, yeah. uh, you are a change maker. A what? Change maker. Oh. Th that's a new yeah, title. Why not? Should actually, we? actually. Hey. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so how did these things come to be part of you as a person? Okay, sure. So, uh, for DJing, I started just when I when I went to Rwanda. Uh -huh. uh, I wanted to share with my new friends the type of music that I like to listen to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I just had a party and yeah. I, I was like playing on iTunes and uh -huh, stuff. Uh -huh. and I asked a friend of mine after that um, if he would show me some things on uh -huh. virtual DJ. Yeah. He did. Um, and I kind of just did it for fun. Yeah, yeah. But everyone had such a great time. And then mm -hmm. from that, people would ask me to play at events. And I was like, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was before I could mix or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and then I kind of just got the interest and, and kept pursuing it. Yeah, yeah. Have you, have you attended any, any party in Kenya? Have I attended a party in Kenya? Yeah, yeah. Like, have you gone to like a club in Kenya or something? Uh, yes. So, <laughs> so what's the difference? I, the difference? Is it big club? I, why? Why are you asking me if it's big club? I've been because to many different be clubs because that's the most frequented uh, frequented club in, in Kenya, big club yeah, or, that's or the Kiza. Only reason why? Yeah. <laughs> that's the only reason why you're asking about that because it's the most frequented. Um, so okay, uh, how was the experience? How was the experience yeah, in terms actually, of? I've been to many clubs. I mean, I've been coming to Nairobi for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's which which is your number one? Nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It changes. Yeah. I used to really love. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a, considered a nightclub or if it's a bar, but yeah, I yeah, really yeah. love it's, it's Juniper. Okay. Uh -huh. I think now it's JJ or yeah, J's. Yeah, J, the J's, yeah. J's. Yeah, yeah. I really love that place. But uh -huh. um, the other night I went to uh, Milan and that was yeah. really fun. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I had a really good time there. Like, like, do you have, do you have like a, a specific, too, yeah. a big club too? Do you have like a specific, um, specific characteristics that you look for in a club you say okay this is the reason why I should go to this I club mean, yeah, yeah, yeah really it's just as long as the service is good and the uh -huh. music is good yeah otherwise I don't really do you get to like vet the DJ because you're also a <laughs> DJ no <laughs> and you're like mm, sir I give it to me no honestly uh -huh. I'm someone who can really just like as long as the music's not too repetitive yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know like uh -huh. I, as long as I'm dancing, having a good yeah, time, yeah, yeah. I, you, I trust what the DJs uh -huh. are doing a lot of times. If the DJ uh -huh. isn't good, I'm all, I can't, yeah. I can't stick around it. Uh -huh. you know? But as long as they know how to gauge the crowd, uh -huh. make everyone have a good time, I'm going to have a good time too. Do you, do you know about Om I'm sorry? Do you know about Om No, tell me. You, you don't know? Okay. <laughs> Speak to me. We'll get to that music later okay. when you talk about, about music, about music. Okay. Yeah. So about uh, what about being a presenter? Um, yeah, so Did it come after after you being exposed as a as a DJ or no. which one came first? No, actually, um, presenting. I did my first presenting job uh, in Jamaica when mm -hmm. I was in university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was. Uh, it was like a high school tour yeah, yeah. that was raising awareness for HIV AIDS. Yeah. So they brought a bunch of um, popular musicians at the time together, put them on a bus, brought them to different high schools yeah. around um, mm -hmm. Kingston. Yeah. And uh, and they would sing songs about awareness. And yeah. I was presenting the show. That was my first like real presenting gig. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. Sorry. <laughs> 
go on? Oh, there's a cable issue. Yeah. Like, ten things that people really don't know about you. Ten? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Then I'm gonna expose my whole life. But as, okay, okay. Um, this is the, be the better way to put it. Assumptions that people people assume. You know, I really couldn't tell you. Yeah? Honestly, I don't know what people assume about me. They what do you think? Me, me, me. They tend to share those kind of things. They tend to assume yeah. and then just yeah. assume. Okay, okay. Let's, people, the people don't know about you. Let's leave a longer assumption. Friend, I don't know. You know, I'm very um, open. Uh -huh. I, I don't really hide much. I'm an open uh -huh. book. Yeah, yeah. But the things that I do keep to myself, yeah, yeah. it's by design. Uh huh. It's what? It's by design, so that means I'm not really trying to like come out here and tell you yeah. all the things that I keep to myself about myself because then it would be longer. I'm like, mm hmm. Uh -huh. You know, you have Mipasha. Do you know Mipasha here yeah, in Kenya? No, tell and, me. And so Mipasha is like a gaff. It's like um, um, what do you say? Like a gossip media. Eh, eh. So basically, if if once you answer that question, they'll be like, hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Um, so, how's how's um, East Africa Got Talent impacted you as a as a person? Um, honestly, I it kind of showed me like how um, I guess mm -hmm. how I don't know which word to use here, but you know when everyone else calls it just game to yeah. and saying yes all uh -huh. the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. but. Seeing like all of these. No, no. Point of correction. You are amazing. Okay, As a judge, yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but seeing like all of these artists yeah. coming up on stage, I feel like I kind of like see myself in uh -huh. too many of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like just. You can, you can relate. I, yeah, I can relate uh -huh. to them, um, and I can see how much effort they're putting into yeah, 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 yeah. into what it is that they're uh -huh, doing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and it's kind of shown me like how I, I don't want to say how connected I am to everybody, but yeah. uh, just like how. Um, so we wanna play a game, huh? Okay, tell me. For never have I ever. Oh boy. <laughs> uh huh. Are you ready? Never have I ever said I'm never drinking again. Wait, so you you have to say like whether you have or you haven't, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Never have I ever said I'm never drinking again. I have. Literally <laughs> everyone has said that. Anyone who's had a drink, <laughs> too many has said that. I will never we all drink know again. Pain. I will never drink again. Uh -uh. I, I had I, I read somewhere that most most women when they're drunk they remember their exes. Women, everybody <laughs> you know damn well that you've been drunk and wanted to text your ex, so please. <laughs> Luckily for me, all my exes, I'm like, eh, bye. Then you get all emotional. Oh, please, let me tell you, that has not happened to me. For all real? my exes are, are out yeah, yeah. long. <laughs> all right. Um, never have I ever peed in a pool. I have. Peed in a pool? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe in childhood. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not these days, bruh. Uh -huh. nah. All right. Um... Never have I ever been kicked out of a bar. I ha shit, I have. No. You've never? For what? Oh, actually, you're a DJ. <laughs> I mean, I ain't fighting oh. nobody or doing anything yeah. crazy in the club. I'm very uh -huh. chill. Never have I ever been chased by a dog. Have I ever been chased by... Actually, no. Especially in my childhood? I don't think I've ever been chased by... That would have traumatized me. I used to be uh -huh. really afraid of dogs. Never have I ever tried guessing someone's password. Mm. That's that's impossible. No, I never. never. You, no, you've never tried. How are you gonna guess a password? You'll be there all day. Out of curiosity. For what? I've tried guessing my ex's password. Look at you. See, <laughs> that's why you're talking about. Oh, women think about their exes when they're drinking. Look at you now. Ah <laughs> uh -huh, All right. Um. Never have I ever kissed an animal. Ew. But here in Kenya, people kiss giraffes. I, I may have I kissed have a never. cat once. I don't know. A cat? Maybe like a, yeah, maybe a kitten or something like that. I don't want to just say no, never, but no, never. I'm not a big animal kisser. Mm -hmm. Gross. Never have I ever lost someone and followed the wrong person in a crowd. 
Oh, mm, definitely have done that. I hate it. Lost so someone and follow the wrong person in a crowd. Yes, you have. I have. That I night have, that you said you weren't going to drink anymore. I have never. I have never. Lies. I have never for real. It's so hard for me to. It's so hard for me to. It's so hard for me to lose someone in a crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Never have I ever pulled a push though. Oh, literally every day. I <laughs> like it's like I can't read. I uh -huh. like, that's my number one thing that I do all the freaking time. I don't know why. It's so annoying and embarrassing. Never have I ever given someone a black eye. Oh my gosh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> no. For what? I, I, I have in high school. I was fighting over a girl. Hey. <laughs> You and this girl's story, I can't even. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Tell us more about your girl was. My girl was. Mm -hmm. So, I was I was in high school. Huh? Of course, I was in high school. Then hey, this was uh, last week. Don't tell lies. Be honest, it's your show. It wasn't last week. Come on, I don't have any. I don't have any bruises. Okay. So, uh -huh. um, I was in high school. And there was this, there was this, there was this girl mm -hmm. from um, from another school. Okay. So he, I don't know if this thing is in is in um, is in is in Rwanda. So you always have like like a boy school has like a sister school. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have a sister school, like for example, if you guys if you have like a brother school, sure. <coughs> so that means you guys get to like um, do you dances together? Of course, dance like together. Yeah. Then get in a relationship with. Uh, with wow, the relationship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like it's it's so it's so it's automatic. Like if you are like I have to date someone from okay, my sister. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Then so during games, I used to play basketball. So during games, I I saw this 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 lady that I used to send you know love letters to. Okay. So apparently, she never used to receive the love letters because another lady used to hide them. Okay. Yeah? Jealous. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So during the games. Uh, the inter school games, I see her talking to another guy. Okay. Now, the trick of it is the, the lady who was hiding the letters used to reply to the letters. So I was thinking it's this lady who was replying to okay. the letters. Uh -huh. So during the inter school games, I'm seeing the chick that I had crush on talking to the other lady. Now, in my mind, I knew I had been communicating to this this girl yeah she was talking to another guy not lady it was to, she was talking to another guy from another school okay so i was like wait this is so disgusting you, you're becoming so disrespectful you get okay so i just went over there and so you thought her. that you owned her because you sent some letters and she sent some back and you thought that you could come at her like that here's the thing she, wow. never, she never sent the letters back the person was applying the letter to the person. But, but, but we're not talking about whether she, or not she sent it. The way that you approached her, because even if she was sending yeah, you yeah. the letters back, she could still talk to him if she wanted to. But it's her life. You should have seen <laughs> the way they were talking to each other. Okay, so uh -huh. close, there wasn't distance. Okay, and then, you know? and then? So I couldn't take it, man. And you punched someone? Not just punch, punches. The guy? Uh, yes. But who won? Me. The guy. <laughs> you got one punch in, and then he, he beat you down, isn't it? You won. Yeah. Hey, hey. Of course, of course. If you, you won, even if you won, I wouldn't say you won. <laughs> and here's the thing: what did you really win? Because I'm very sure you didn't get the girl in the end. So, what did uh, you win exactly? Uh, actually, I, I got the girl then. Which girl? The girl who's wearing you the letters, or the girl that you wanted? The girl that I wanted. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So it wasn't the fight was worth it. Okay. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You've never fight over a girl? Well, no. For real? Absolutely not. You've never felt like you want to fight over a girl? Hell guy. to the no. For what? Because you're, you're too many, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Me is a girl. Me mm -hmm. fight over a man. Um, never have I ever woken up someone with my snoring. I don't snore. Yeah, I don't snore uh, either. Never. Nah. I have never ever. No, man. Never have I ever pranked my parents. Hey, you mean my dad will beat me? Know, yeah. <laughs> For what? My nah. My dad will beat me up. <laughs> nah. My, well, dad, my dad doesn't know humor. <laughs> yeah, that's not a culturally. I don't think yeah. that's. A <laughs> um, never have I ever peed myself in a moving vehicle. What is up with all the peeing things? No, um, I have never, but. 
I have never, never, never. Ooh, never ever, never have I ever sung at karaoke. Oh, literally, like very often. Never. Maybe that's, that's I want to start doing karaoke. Actually, I've never. <gasps> I love it. Mm-hmm. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Which other question? I need to do it out here in Nairobi. I'm sure I'm it's fun. Never ever, never have I ever not cleaned my teeth, my teeth for, for over 48 hours. I've hmm. done that before. Mm, like when you're well, sick. I have. If you got a hangover for hell yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you forgot your toothbrush and you mm. gotta just like use your finger or like a towel. <laughs> never have I ever dried my hair the wrong color. Dried have my I, hair the wrong color? Have I, oh, dyed I have, it yeah, the wrong yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, I didn't do it myself, but I definitely died, had that. Died. I have never. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I've gotten some colors I didn't want. Never have I ever sung out loud in a friend's shower. Sung out loud in a friend's shower. I'm so confused uh, by that one. Yeah, um, actually, maybe in a shower. I in a shower, yes, but in a friend's shower, that means you either had a sleepover at your friend's place. Yeah. So I have. Uh, I don't never. know. I probably. I don't yeah. know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it's not a big. I mean, I would. Never, <laughs> never have I ever been chased by a cat. Mm. Cats don't chase, do they? Cats don't chase. I have never. Do you, are, are you a pet person? Yeah, I have a very cute dog at home. Oh, all right. They're done, but I feel like uh, you we have, to we have two more minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, never have I ever. Never have I ever used the five-second rule for food that fell. You know that's oh, like, yeah, yeah. I've used like the 20 second I have, I have, I have, I have, yeah. I have. Depends on where it falls. It depends, huh? Eh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Never have I ever, never have I ever driven a car naked or with a minimal clothing. I mean, I've driven a car <laughs> in a bikini before. Uh-huh. Yeah, from the beach to the beach. Uh-huh. In Jamaica, that's like not... Well, what if, what if a police, <laughs> police studio say, hey, oh, but they Jamaicans. It's, you, it's when you come, way. yeah, to but the you, beach, from the beach. But you in Kenya? Kenya? Oh my God, you'll be over the news. Yeah, nah. So, I, w- I, would, I don't think I would do that here, yeah. no, sir. Um, I feel like I left some. Yeah, never have I ever said I was going to, I was going to go somewhere with no intention of going whatsoever. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> going this place, but you're not really I've going done that. I'm not place. proud of it, but I have mm-hmm. done that. For sure. All right. That was it. Now, random question, random question. More? Um, random question. Off, off, off my head, huh? Okay. Who do you think um, might take... Well, let's prophesy. Who do you think might be top, top three? Eh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah? You're not going there? Nah. <laughs> You're not risking it? Nah. <laughs> no, sir. I don't know. I have no idea. I am not a prophet. <laughs> and therefore, you can't, uh, you can't risk it. we shall want all of us together. I have no idea. Nah. I like the way you're like. You ain't gonna catch nah. me slipping. Nah, it does no, not happen. Nah. Nah, 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 I have no idea. Uh-huh. May the best uh, group yeah. win. Okay. Best group, best man, best, best woman, man. best mm. act win. Yeah. That's amazing. Anyway, any any last word? Um. No, but you know, based based on what you're doing, your life and all that kind of stuff. No, based on what I'm doing in my life, I don't really have a last word. You Mm -hmm. know, I'm happy that you know, um, I'm able to to connect with people and meet people now, Mm -hmm. and you know, um, sort of interact with people in a different way. Yeah, yeah. uh, In this stage, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I I mean, I have a a final word for you. Just keep going with your podcast. You know, this is really cool. And absolutely, I am. I'm coming to Rwanda. Okay. So there's this um, series coming up on my podcast. Actually, it's called Wiki's Daddy Podcast Network. Uh-huh. So we have different shows. Yeah. So there's this um, series. Fuck, let me add for them. So there's this series that's coming up on the podcast. It's called Influence Africa Series. Okay. So basically what I'll be doing, I'll be going to different countries okay. and, and featuring different people who are actually changing the narrative, the African narrative in such a niche way. Sure. Uh, people like, of course, people like you, people like Chimamanda, people like Bobby Wine. Okay. Yeah, and actually I'd love to, so I shouldn't be worried about Rwanda. I already have 
my host and I already have my DJ. No, there's so many other people in Rwanda. We've already spoken now. You can go mm -hmm. and explore what else there is there. And uh, uh, actually, I, I already have a connection. Yeah, I already have go. a connection there with Ma Makeda. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your name is Contact Makeda? My name is Makeda. That contact is like Contact Makeda. Voila. Oh, oh, that's so unique, man. Like Contact Makeda. Mm -hmm. So I used to think like Contact Makeda. Then I'm like, no, Contact Makeda doesn't make sense. It's Contact Makeda. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you so much, Makeda, Thank you for too. coming. Thank you too. Such an amazing spirit, such an amazing human. Thank you very and much. And I don't take it for Chani. granted. Thank you. Uh, I don't take it for granted for you coming. Likewise. I, like it was a short notice. Sure. And I'm looking forward to also hosting you again very soon. Let's see. Yeah. Thank you so much and um, cheers. <coughs> Yes. Quick reminder, make sure you stay tuned for what the fag show that is starting up is it's what the fag show. F U G. So we have this show. What's a fag? So it's called what the fag. So there's this, this show that's coming up with a podcast starting this month. Okay. Hosted by three crazy ladies, amazing ladies. What the fag show. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward. Yeah, so stay tuned for that starting this um September and cheers you guys are amazing and please can you just tell them to subscribe Go ahead tell and these sub people to subscribe subscribe. To this. <laughs> subscribe to my channel contact Makeda on YouTube thank you kidding also subscribe to Wilkins <laughs> also subscribe to Wilkins yeah all right cool thanks